Okay, this is my little experiment because I can. I love gardening. I wanted to play a little bit with the Gans and some seeds and get some things started in the greenhouse now that it's March. So we chose these. It's a strawberry corn. It's called strawberry popcorn. Once you grow it, you actually can put it in a paper bag dried in the microwave and pop the popcorn. So I thought that'd be fun. In Washington, we have a pretty show, short growing season, so I'm hoping, asking the Gans to help me accelerate that process so the corn will be dried and ready to pick. So what I've done is I've divided up uh, four experiment bottles and then two controls. And I wanted to compare the CO2 zinc Gans from the original method of collection, which was the the zinc plate and the nano-coated copper plate in a container of salt water, about 10%, connected with a copper wire, and that was it. So, um, and I wanna compare that to what I call ocean GANS method two, which is just the ocean water and pour in, um, First, combine a teaspoon of the caustic with hot water, about a cup of hot water, and then pouring that into about six cups of the ocean water and letting that GANS create and go through the rinsing process with distilled water. So that's what I call method one is the original method of making GANS with the two plates and the wire. And then method two is um, just putting the caustic into the ocean water and allowing the nice quick instant cans to form and then going through the rinse and rinse A, just that's the distilled water. So I'm staying with that in this comparison. So I'm using our well water with CO2 zinc GANS method one and then, and then uh, we have the well water. We live in Washington State, which is basically a rainforest, so it rains all the freaking time. From <laughs> let's see, about um, September through the end of May. Anyways, and we live on nine acres of forest in a beautiful area between Mount Rainier and the ocean. So our well water is beautiful. But it does run through a filter because it has a lot of iron in it. So that's the comparison, these two, between the CO2 and the ocean GANS. And then this is um, the CO2 and the ocean GANS in distilled water, whereas these are in the well water. And then, of course, we have the control group, you know, with just distilled water and well water. Now, one thing I've noticed so far was last night I put in... The little vials. I don't know if you can see them floating around in there. There he is. Um, <clears throat> of the the GANs. And what I did was I put five milliliters of GANs in the distilled water. And then I just dropped that into the container. And I left that in there for 24 hours to start charging the water. Originally I'd use these containers, which are kind of nice. The three for a dollar at the dollar store thinking they would go in, but guess what? They didn't go in. So um, I switched to these and they're just little um, bubbles, you know, like you use for weddings and an eight pack of those little bottles for a dollar. Pretty good deal. Plus they're water, I guess they're, you know, they're waterproof. Once you pull the little cap off and dump the bubbles out, clean it, you've got a nice little um, charging vial to just drop into the water. And I just plan on leaving those in there and um, keeping the water full during our experiment. So all I'm going to do now, and I'll turn off the camera, is just to, to put a little bit of each water in each of these. Each one has nine of the little strawberry corn seeds in it so that they can soak for a few days before I plant them in the greenhouse. Oh, one thing I noticed. Okay, so... This is the well water, and normally the well water does create the little bubbles because it's quite live and, and vivacious. And what's happened that's really curious to me is the distilled water is almost acting like the well water. It's got bubbles up the side. 
and I've not seen that before. Um, the only variable is that now I've got this the CO2 GANs and the ocean GANs in there. So it's doing something different to the distilled water than it normally has. Because as you can see, you know, the well water, I don't know if you can see as well through that container. The well water has little bubbles all over it, the inside of the container. Whereas the regular distilled water, it's kind of flat and kind of dead. <laughs> okay. So, we'll get started on this and update at another moment. <laughs> 